Hey everybody, Jam Creates here. It is the day after Thanksgiving, also known as Black Friday. Um, I am not a huge like Black Friday shopper kind of person. Um, my wife does do sometimes. Um, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's crazy, but whatever. We've gotten some good deals, so I'm not gonna knock it. Um, so I figured I'd maybe go back. I didn't do a video yesterday as it was Thanksgiving here in the United States and I was spending time with my family. So I thought maybe today I would talk about things I am thankful for. Uh, one of the things I am thankful for is that I have said family, uh, my wife, my daughter, my mom, my sister, my all my family, my brother-in-law, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my niece and nephew, everybody. Um, I'm very thankful that I have them all and that they're doing well. Um, now on to the sillier things. Yeah, yeah, it's like so funny. It's like perfunctory. If you ever do that thing of like, hey, let's all go around the table and say what we're thankful for. And everybody always says, I'm thankful for my family and my friend. Like, it's like you have to say it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I'm thankful for all my 31 subscribers. Um, I think that's awesome. I'm very thankful to you guys for watching my videos and for coming along with me on these rides home from work. Uh, in addition to the other videos I do, I'm thankful for you for putting up with my turn signal noise, um, which is going on in the background right now as I, as I speak. Um, because, you know, when you're driving, you don't really notice it, but I had someone pointed out to me on one of my videos on the comments, and I, I get it. It, it, you know, I could definitely see how it could probably be annoying when you're listening. Um, now, on to topics more relevant, let's say, to this channel, which is, generally speaking, a comic book channel, an art channel. Um, you know, I delve a little bit into pop culture stuff here and there. I haven't gone nose, you know, head first into that stuff really yet, although I easily could. I just have left that to other people for the time being. I don't know how long that'll last. Eventually, I'm sure something will make me have to speak out. Like, probably, I don't know, the next Star Wars movie. Um, but anyway, um, driving next to a guy with his turn signal on for no reason. And... I am also thankful for, one of the things I definitely am thankful for is, I am thankful that in the comic book terms, I am thankful to have discovered um, independent creators, and I'm thankful that creators have discovered their independence. Um, I am really grateful that people who were big time, you know, big two artists and creators have gone off on their own and decided to do their own thing and doing crowdfunded comic books that look amazing. And I'm really excited about these books and I can't wait to get more of them in. And I'm also really grateful for Alterna Comics who has provided an inexpensive way for me to feed my comic book habit with lots of uh, varied types of stories and things to read. Uh, with quality art and quality creators, and I really enjoy their stuff. And for, again, I'm grateful to them for not following the same path everyone else followed. You know, you look at the other indie publishers, and they're exactly the same as the big two. They print on the glossy paper, which means they have to charge more, and then they charge four or five bucks a comic book an issue. Alterna prints on newsprint, the books still look great, and they charge a buck fifty. And that's awesome. And I am super grateful to that. I know it probably comes across at this point on my channel that I'm kind of an alterna shill. But the truth is, I really only discovered them recently. And I really like what I've seen so far. And I really like what I've purchased and what I've what I've read. And, and you know, because if you watch my channel, I do reviews on everything I buy from them. So you see those reviews and these are good books that I'm enjoying reading. And so I'm definitely thankful for that. Uh, I am thankful for what else? I'm thankful for getting to go to New York City Comic Con for a day. Um, would have been nice to go for longer, but it's all good. 
Um, I'm thankful that I got to meet Mike S. Miller and get a really cool Lone Star commission done by him. Um, that was really cool. It was fun, it was fun to meet him. He's a nice guy. Uh, don't listen to what anybody else says. Uh, he's definitely a nice dude. And I'm happy that I was able to do that with my daughter and to go there and to have fun and to meet Zachary Levi, who was also a cool dude, and have a good time. I'm thankful that my wife supports me in my nerdiness. And I'm also thankful that these independent creators and platforms like YouTube have allowed these creators to be out there and to get their voices heard and to share their artwork and also to share their skills and their techniques. You know, I'm, I'm going on, on Twitter and I'm going on YouTube and I'm getting criticism and critique from professional artists and they're not jerks. They're being kind. They're giving of their time and I'm also watching other people get critiques on YouTube and learning things from those critiques of those people. You know, it's it's really cool to see these things. I mean, I honestly flipped out. Like, and I don't know why. Well, I do know why because I was really out of the scene for quite a while. And when I realized that, holy crud, there are videos online by Todd McFarlane and Jim Lee explaining and teaching how to draw, I lost my mind. I flipped out. I went home and I told my wife and she was like, who? But like, besides that, like I was flipping out. I'm like, dude, this is amazing. These guys were like, these guys are legendary. They are legends in the comic book world. And they're just freely sharing this information and helping. And that's awesome. And I'm really thankful for that because these are guys who get it. These are people who get it. They're sharing. They're not trying to hoard the customers. They're not trying to hoard their skills. They know they're talented. They know their skills. A guy like Ethan Van Skyver, he knows he's one of the best artists in the world. He doesn't need, he's not worried about it. He knows he's always gonna work. He's always gonna make money because he is that skilled and that talented. So, It's really cool to see people like Mike S. Miller and Art T. Bear and Ethan Van Skyver and Jim Lee and uh, Todd McFarlane all sharing, like, art tutorial lessons online, along with a whole bunch of other less, you know, less known, but really quite talented people who are sharing different techniques, and it's really been awesome, like... It's such a fantastic tool to utilize, to learn, to watch these videos and to learn along with them and and to practice and do this stuff. It's so cool, you know, and I'm very thankful to my wife and my daughter for supporting me in wanting to get back into my art and to get back into my creativity and to get back into creating, you know, making stuff again, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um... And I'm really thankful for having a platform to share it with and to know that, listen, down the road, I might be able to actually, you know, do this. I'm, I'm grateful that I live in a world where I can do this and I live in a country where I can do this. These things are, are available to me, whether I have, whether I own the, the, the tools or if I have to go borrow the tools or use someone else's tools it is available to me. I can, if I want to scan my pages, I don't have to buy, go out and buy a scanner. Now I can because I live in a country where these things are easily available and you could do that. Or I could go to, you know, a FedEx Kinko's, whatever it's called and have them scan it for me. You know, um, I could go to a local printer and have them scan. Like there's so many opportunities and so many options available to me that, it really is incredible that we live in this world where I could publish my, you know, I could make a comic book and publish it as a, as, you know, as a webtoon, as a webcomic. And, you know, maybe people will read it. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But I have that opportunity and that's awesome. Now, if I'm going to talk about things I'm thankful for, we might as well flip the script and talk about things I'm not thankful for. 
Um, I am not thankful for comic book professionals who have been just disgusting human beings and made me not want to read any of their comic books anymore, which is why I don't buy anything from Marvel anymore, which I used to be all about Marvel. Um, now, nothing. Nothing. Um, so I'm definitely not thankful for that, for them ruining my favorite characters. Um, I'm definitely not thankful for the one-click button on Amazon's app, which I handed my wife my phone the other day to show her something, and we accidentally bought it. It'll be here tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> it was just a silly story. It was funny. Yeah, whatever. We'll just have to send it back. Um, unfortunately, it's something rather large. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but anyway, I, you know what, forget the not thankful stuff, like whatever, that was like a long way to go for a joke. Um, I, cause there's more things I'm thankful for in this space. I am thankful for a lot of the creators from Alterna who anytime I tweet anything about their books or I share my videos or anything like that, like they're all over it. They're thanking me for buying the books. They're thanking me for reading the books. They're thanking me for reviewing the books. Like these guys are so cool. Like they really get it. And it's awesome to see people so passionate about their stuff that they are will, you know, that they're out there and they're willing to thank people. Um, you know, it's just a really cool thing. I am thankful for the audience that has been created, um, by the ridiculous comic book pros who drove so many people away from comics and drove them into a, a different community. And I'm thankful for the people in that community who are cool, which is most of the people. There are a few who have turned out to be not so cool, and unfortunately, that's just life, and that's just the way it goes. There's going to be cool people. There's going to be not so cool people. That's just that's life. That's just the how. That's just how it goes. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this video up because I am about to be home. So you're going to hear my turn signal again. Um, I just want to say one more time how I am thankful to all of my followers on Twitter and I'm thankful to all my subscribers on YouTube. So if you'd like to be one of those people who I am thankful for existing, you can always like this video, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, jingle bells, jingle that bell. Oh, look at that. I have a thing. I can say jingle that bell since it's like since we're in the holiday season now. So jingle that bell for notifications. Um, I got really excited about that. Did you hear that? That was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> so jingle that bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter. I am at jam, J-A-M underscore creates, C-R-E-A-T-E-S for those of you who are spelling impaired. Um, and that's it. Uh, I'm out. I'm just trying to find a place to park my car. Um, and even though somebody once in one of the, the chats on someone's stream the other day told me I should try singing on my channel since it works so well for EVS, I said, I'm not so sure about that. Um, anyway, that's it. I'm done. So have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving with your family or whoever you care to be around. If you hate your family, I hope you're around people you like. Um, and that's it. Peace out. Happy Thanksgiving.